Welcome back guys, we're back again with a Minecraft tutorial and this time we're going to be going over how you can convert your worlds from Java to Bedrock or from Bedrock to Java. We're going to be using a program called MCC Toolchest and although it does state that it's for 1.14 versions, it does actually work for 1.17 as well, I have just tested it. So a few things before we actually get into this, one of the things that you are going to need to install, which will of course we will go through, is the MCC Toolchest and of course you will need a Java and Bedrock account, however you'll need that anyway if you are trying to convert a world over. This will work for Windows 10 and like I said earlier will work after the 117 update so let's get into it First things first is that we need to download the MCC tool chest. Now I'm not going to lie, it's actually not that easy to find anymore. I had to go all my way through forums, um, use the Wayback Machine, and then we managed to find the correct page where you can still download the correct download. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description, and once you do, just head over to the MCC tool chest PE Bedrock version, click that, and then let it download. Once it downloads, just install it like you would any other program. I'm not going to go through this because I've already installed it to my PC. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to be greeted with this little page here. Now it is extremely easy to actually convert these worlds, and there might be many reasons you actually do this. You might have wanted to design something in Java to bring over to Bedrock. You might be swapping over versions. You can even do stuff like bring over Bedrock worlds to Java, use World Editor, take schematics, and actually take buildings out of it, um, and all sorts of different stuff like that. So this is going to come in really useful. So what we're going to be doing in this case is let's start off with a bedrock world we're going to create a brand new one make a little building on it and then we're going to convert it to java and make sure that it all still works on the 117 version so let's launch our bedrock and i'll keep it going so you can actually see that it is 117 and um, this is why i was a bit dubious as well whether this video is still going to work after the update however i have tried it and i found out that it does work exactly the same it's brought all the blocks over and all the entities so that's great so let's just get into it so as you can see i'm running the 1.17 versions so let's just go and create a new world go create a new world i do it in uh, creative sorry just so you can see i'll put a few blocks there just so that we know that it's definitely the same world that we're going to bring over now this won't take very long because of course this will be a brand new world so all the chunks uh, won't be explored it'll really take only about a minute maybe in 30 seconds to convert the world over however if you are doing a uh, quite a large world that you've had going for quite some time it might just take a little bit longer because it's got to convert all the chunks one thing i want to add is that you can't convert command blocks just be careful with this uh, unfortunately they just won't convert over although java does have command blocks it just doesn't seem to work so we've spawned in and let's make something that we're not going to miss let's just make a big purple line going all the way up into the sky um, and we're going to sit our man on it of course the player data does actually come over as well so our player will actually start off um, in the same position as well so let's just go ahead and save this world down now you can now go ahead and exit out of the bedrock so now what we're going to do is go ahead and open the mcc tool chest again It'll only take a few seconds to load then we'll head over to tools we'll go over to convert and then we'll go convert to java as you can see here that on the top of the list i've got the world that i've just created it will also have all your other bedrock worlds all listed in the file right here so let's just go ahead and select my world over here you can choose whether you want to copy the overworld or the nether and the nend or all together you can choose whether to exclude or include blocks and entities you can replace biomes and stuff like that however we won't be going into that stuff all we want to do is actually convert the exact world now what you want to make sure here is that you've selected convert to 1.14 now i know you're thinking well that's not 1.17 that won't work um, just follow along and you'll see how it does in fact work so let's just go ahead and convert this, that only took a matter of around three seconds only because i've got 418 chunks that they actually needed to convert great so we've done that now we can just go ahead and close down the tool chest and just come over to your java account and open that up as you can see i'm going to be using the latest release 1.17 let's go ahead and hit play so all loaded up on the java account now let's just click on single player and you're going to see that my world has now been added uh, again you're going to notice that it says uh, version 1.14.4 However, this will change after we play it. So let's just go ahead and play selected well first, just to make sure that it's all converted. It's still exactly the same world, and we are still stood on that big, tall purple thing. All right, so it looks like we're just about to load up now. Only a few more seconds left, and we should be um, hopefully appearing back on the tall purple thing. And there we go. So as easy as that, um, and I really... Uh, oh, that, yeah, I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> right? great well we spawned right next to the purple thing but as you can see um we've converted that and because it's quite a small world i've actually converted this within about two or three minutes um that's the whole process i've been done with we now have the java version over um if i change over to game mode creative just to make sure that we actually have uh, the right blocks we press e and you can see here that we have the updated we have the deep slate copper etc um if we fly up in the air we're going to see that the world terrain everything like that is exactly the same and that is literally all there is to it and once you save out your world you're going to notice that your world now says version 1.17 
Awesome. So now let's just go over how to do this the other way around. If you want to change a Java world over to Bedrock, and it's going to be exactly the same way. So let's just go ahead back to MCC Tool Chest, open the program up, and all the differences here is going to be one button. So when you go over to Tools, rather than going to Convert and then to Java, we're going to go Convert to Bedrock. Now this is going to bring up all of the worlds on your current Java Minecraft, and all you're going to do is just select one. So let's just go here and select Attempt 1. It's going to be very much the same screen apart from here instead of 1.14. It's going to ask you whether you want aquatic 1.13 plus simply select that and then press convert and as easy as that is going to convert your world over and just make sure to save changes um, when you're actually doing it this way around when it goes from java to bedrock you do need to save so just make sure that you either go to file and then save or when you try to exit the program it's going to ask you and then just hit yes and save that now if we log into our bedrock account we're going to see that we have one that's called attempt one so let's just go to play now and as you can see we have attempt one right there if we click on it it's going to load us into the world and then it will also update it what to one dot seven team we'll have all the right blocks and stuff like that great and we're all in so that's how to convert both the worlds so now let's just finish off on how to actually extract the worlds in case we want to now put them onto a server so let's just start on bedrock first as we're on here let's say you've just changed over your java world to a bedrock world all you're going to do is open up your worlds come over to this little sign over here from the game option go all the way down to the bottom and then you can go ahead to export world simply choose a file or create a folder on your desktop we could just make um, one right here and then we're going to call it world one uh, let's just open up that folder and we can then export the world to that folder now you've got a perfectly exported world that you can now uh, import to your bedrock server so let's just exit out of here and of course show you how you can do it on java 2 so let's just open up the java launcher click play on latest release 1.17 let's just head over to our single player so my world the one that we just converted let's just download that so then we can upload it to a java server 2 so just select the world go over to edit world select open world folder and you're going to find all of the files for your world right here simply highlight them all copy them over and then paste them into a world file of your choice you can of course name the folder whatever you like for instance if i go back onto my desktop you can see that we have world one we can then create a folder called world two open that up and then paste the world into that and as you can see here we now have a folder with all our world which we can then import onto a java server so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you again on the next minecraft tutorial make sure to hit that like button and sub if you haven't already bye bye